Well, Steph, this is the first opportunity to say congratulations to you on your MBE. Uh, what a huge honour. Yeah, massive honour and uh, thank you very much, I think, um, to be able to say that you've got an MBE. It's something that I'd never ever dreamed of and um, so lucky and humbled to be able to receive such a prestigious award and have them three letters after your name. It's, uh, it's a bit of a weird feeling, but uh, a massive moment for me and my family. How did you find out about it? Uh, it was a bit random, to be honest. I think originally they send you a letter and um, this letter went to the wrong address and um, I was back home and it was, I remember it was a Friday and me and my mum were going Christmas shopping and Elliot, the press officer from Manchester City, was that you've got to accept this award within the next hour and I think I nearly crashed the car to be honest so um, but overall delighted and just couldn't believe it. Have any details come through yet on when you're going to receive it and how do you feel about that because it's quite a big day? Um, you know what the first thing I did was actually try and look up what I was going to wear I think that'll be a, a, bit, a bit of a stressful time but I think um, no news of when I'll receive it I think it'll be in the next few months and something that I can't wait for and it's not really about me it's more about my family because I think they they probably deserve it more than anybody. I think all the, the work that they've put in to um, take us to training when I was younger, to follow us all around the country, to come to Manchester City games, to come to England games, I think it'll be probably a bigger day for them than it will be for me. Have you have you used it yet? Have you dropped it in anywhere? If it was me, I'd be like <laughs> signing checks with it and everything. I think a few of my friends have back home. <laughs> Do you know she's an MBE? And um, no, I mean, not yet, I think. I think once I receive it and go down to the palace and uh, meet whether it's the Queen or the Prince, I think uh, that's when it'll probably sink in and uh, had a few banter texts about it, but um, yeah, it's a little bit surreal still.